Hello everyone, welcome to Chirac SQL Server Debate Tutorial. In this video, we'll learn how to configure database mail in SQL Server. So, with the SQL Server database, we will send a mail to the user regarding uh, whatever the success, error, and uh, whenever you want to trigger the mail, so it will mail to the user. So, we'll be using the two ways to in uh, which in SQL Server using the SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and second is using T SQL script. So what are the information we needed for the database mail? So we need the mail server. So I'm using the mail server of chirax.in and uh, whatever the port number the assigned for that. So port number 587 or 25 or 465 any one port number we need and second is email address so valid email address account and third is mail account credential valid mail account in and password so let's go through the first step sql server management studio let me open the management studio so connect the management uh, database instance on the management studio go to the management and there is an option is database mail so right click on the database mail and click on the configure database mail so welcome to database mail configuration wizard and if you want to skip for the ne uh, next time so you can check or uncheck so that is the option go to the next so setup of database mail or preferring the following task so this is the uh, we are using the first time so just select the first option and there is a more options are there manage database mail account and profile if you already configured then you want to change some configuration for the mail accounts and profiles then you can go through that and third is view and changes system parameters if you want to change the system parameters then go through that so we are we are set up in the first time so go through the first option first checkbox go to the next so database mail features not available would you like to enable this features yeah we want to enable this feature then only it will work click on ok so profile name so profile name as you we can see the entry script i am giving the profile name here after tutorial so i am giving the same name over here and description if you want and that is smtp account so smtp account add click on add so account name it will ask you the account name so i'm giving the account name this is my account name description i'm giving the same and uh, uh, outgoing mail server smtp so i'm using here support at the rate display name i'm giving the same reply email and here also i'm giving the same and server name i'm using the mail server of chirac so mail dot chirac dot in and port number i'm using the 587 okay so this server required in the secure, uh, secure connection ssl no i am not using that and there is a three option windows authentication using database engine if you have available this credentials then you can go through that and anonymous is option so i am going through the basis basic authentication because i have the details about the my mail id and password in the same and give the correct password of your mail address so I'm giving here Let me check once again. Okay. 
okay so i'm giving uh, password click on okay so this i am uh, using for my mail uh, mail account if you are using the google smtp then use the google email address here gmail address here gmail address here also and use the smtp dot gmail dot com port number at you required so 587 is okay for gmail also and here use the gmail address and gmail username and password so click on okay click on next so profile is added so click i'm going to click on checkbox next so this is the system parameters if you want to change as per your requirement you can change it otherwise go to the next and i'm going to click on finish so account is created successfully now let me test the email so check with the database mail log we don't have any log now so right click on that test email so i'm giving here database test mail so click on send click on okay go to the okay database mail process is started for some time we got the mail this is the mail so then database mail test so this is test mail email from send from database and whatever the email we are using there support in so with that we will get it from here since from mail we will get so this is the first step we got the we got the database mail and second way just let me delete and we'll go through the tsql script click on configure i want first uh, i'm going to uh, just delete the existing profile then i'll delete the account so account is associated with the profile so first delete the profile then you delete the account there is the option of delete so i'm using the deleting the profile next again go to the configuration manage account so there is options to delete the account so deleting okay So now we are going through the TCL script. Let me open the queries window. So we have a T script here. This is my T script. So this is so advanced option and database mail we are enabling the database mail so in previous when we are creating the uh, gy version uh, for the database mail so that time we got one pop-up that mail is uh, configure the mail that so i am using the configure mail here and there is a create profile so i am creating the profile this is the query for the creating the profile and this is uh, we are creating the account so you i am using the same thing uh, support chirax dot in you use your mail address then here i am using the reply to and email address and the mail i am using the mail server chirax dot in and sftp 587 support chirax dot in give your gmail okay mail pass mail correct password so this i am creating let me run that yeah so change from 0 to 1 reconfigure that is installed configure database mail 1 to 1 means already we uh, enable that and reconfigure the statement and now let 
let me refresh and let me check mail is configured now or not yeah mail is configured see we are getting the profile name and here we will give the name for the two and we can send test mail before that we should con configure because here i am not provided the correct password so go to your configure manage a database mail account and profile go to that and i'm giving the correct password again Given the correct password as we did uh, the previous step and we can change it from there there is a configuration next and completed now let me test the mail so send test mail here i mean mail test click on send okay let me go to the database mail yeah we got the mail so we got the t sql mail test so this is the way we can check the mail uh, we can send the mail from the database thank you for watching hope this helps